What's going on everyone? ODC, it's me here, and today's review, we're going to take a look at, as I'm going to call him, I'm going to refer to him as Mainframe. Uh, he was renamed and repackaged as Data Frame in this two-pack for some reason. I'm not sure why they decided to do that, but his new name is Data Frame. I'm just going to call him from what I know, and that's Mainframe. Uh, so we got Mainframe here, um, and this was a part of a two-pack with Beachhead back in 2008. It was part of the uh, comic book series um, pack. Um, if you're not familiar with what those look like, I'll just show you really quick um, what those are, what those look like. So you just get a, an idea of what the comic packs look like. Really great. Uh, I love the comic packs. I even love the uh, the Marvel Universe comic packs. Those are fantastic as well. Uh, but good luck trying to find those for a decent price. Uh, within reason, I should say. Uh, anyway, getting back to mainframe here. He comes with some pretty cool stuff. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, he does come with his... His, um, excuse me, his... <coughs> His little read-up card. Call these file cards, I guess. I don't know why I'm not focusing right now. Focus. Come on. Just does not want to focus right now. There we are. Sorry about that. So there's his little file card. If you want to pause it and read it, go ahead. Okay, so we have that for mainframe. Uh, we also have a little communicator here or some sort of controlling device. I'm not really sure 100% what this would be called, but it looks like it's a some sort of uh, either communicator or a remote control. He also does come with a uh, an assault rifle. Pretty cool. He comes with his little computer device, which has actually got a really cool feature. It's got little legs attached to it. How cool is that? Look at that. That's pretty awesome. And you can just set it down just like that. Uh, but it does actually have some nice sculpted detail in there, as you can see. Okay, so there's there's that. And then we have code name data frame with the embossed GI Joe logo on here. Really don't understand quite why they decided to rename him. Um, it just kind of baffles me. The guy's name was Mainframe for <laughs> 25 years. You're going to change it in 2008. Okay. Uh, but this is pretty cool, too. Um, he actually comes with little floppy disks. That's what those are. And what you do is you cut. You actually cut. There's little lines here, and you cut them down the center, and then in four squares there. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, when's the last time we've seen a floppy disk? God knows I've used those when I was younger. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty awesome they decided to include that. And it actually came in this nice little uh, plastic uh, packaging to keep it nice and safe from being ruined. Um, he also includes a, uh, a knife, which is actually a pretty decent looking knife. So there's that, and he does have a sheath on the side that's sculpted into his leg, and it's pretty good sized. Um, as far as fitting stuff in his hands, um, unfortunately the knife is a little bit loose. Let's see if it fits better in this hand. Yeah, it actually fits better in this very odd gripping hand with uh, two fingers sticking out like, like he's giving up a peace sign or something. <laughs> I'm really sure what that's about. Um, I believe Chuckles also used this hand as well. Um, it's some sort of gesture. Uh, I don't know what it means, but uh, it almost looks like um, it actually kind of works, actually, when you think about it. Now that I have time to think about it, actually, it does kind of work with the figure uh, due to him typing. So it could be him typing on something. It could be just him sitting here like that. So I guess it does work. It works nicely. Um, overall, looking at the figure itself, I think it looks good. It's got a little holster sculpted here with a um, looks what looks to be a handgun sculpted in there. It's non-removable. Uh, he's got a little bandolier here. Looks pretty accurate to what mainframe used to look like in the 80s. 
It does have its helmet on here. Looks pretty cool. I would have liked it if they went with a little bit of a different, less than a, of, a, of a grunty looking face, of a grimace, and more of a neutral type face, because I don't remember him being this angry, <laughs> mainframe, but uh, <laughs> still, it, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I've seen some pretty bad face sculpts in my day, but I think it looks pretty good still. Um, he does fit his assault rifle in his gripping hand nicely, and actually can hold it pretty decently um, and almost like the the two finger gestures gesture hands I should say let me flip his arm around like so no nope, actually I think I hit it right the first time but he can hold it in both hands is, is the point I'm trying to get to uh, as far as him holding his little remote let me get that in there he can hold it nicely as well. So that's really cool. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, I actually, uh, I really like, uh, I really like, always liked Mainframe. I liked his design, I think the most. Um, not the most out of everyone, but um, one one of my favorite designs for him. I mean, I just like the, uh, the way the flow of his uniform and I like the helmet. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, <coughs> I didn't actually pick up Beachhead because I actually already have them. I bought them separate um, years ago. From, I think well, back in 2010 I bought that one. Uh, and for some reason I just I decided to skip on Mainframe. I don't know why. <laughs> no rhyme or reason. I guess I just really wanted Beachhead. But um, so <coughs> I actually um, another reason why I picked this up was I picked up the Elite Core um, drone set. There's actually a really cool drone set. So if you look up, I got <coughs> what's that? Swallowed. Jesus Christ. Inhaled something. I don't know. Bug or I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you mouth breather. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I actually picked up the, uh, so if you want to look it up, it's called the Core Elite Drone Set. Um, and I, I had to pick it up for, for mainframe here. And uh, I thought it would go well with him in a nice little display. So that would be cool. Um, maybe I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll, when I get that set, I actually have to go pick up that set. I can, uh, I'll take some pictures and I'll upload it on my Facebook page for everyone to check out if they want to. But uh, this is definitely a really cool set. Um, I would just pick up the two-pack if you can find it for cheap. Um, I think, actually, let me uh, see how much... That two pack goes for just to give you everyone a heads up. Oh my god, come on. Stand, mainframe, stand. Okay, so I checked it out on eBay, and maybe eBay isn't your best possible scenario right now because they're going for uh, uh, almost around 30 bucks, anywhere from $27 to around. 35 so maybe you might want to outsource these via like uh, how I did which was uh, loose um, I feel like with a lot of GI Joe's um, getting the min on card for certain specific uh, characters um, unless you're a min on card collector you should really just pick up these things loose give them a nice wash when you get them and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so um, with that being said I would definitely uh, recommend getting this uh this uh mainframe or data frame i just I can't stand that name data frame it just sounds so stupid <laughs> i don't know to me it just does um as far as his articulation does go i'll go through it really quick um his head does get, can't really look up or down it just swivels it doesn't really pivot either due to him being an older uh, 25th anniversary figure arms go up and down full 360 he does have a swivel at the elbow and a single bend which is actually a really good uh, pretty decent single bend not the one of the best I've seen but uh, there's some uh, good range of motion there uh, he also does have an ab crunch which goes forward and back and doesn't really pivot side to side but it does swivel up top he's got t-joint hips which go out and they oh his leg is like stuck right now what is going on with his leg there we go I don't know what that was about his leg goes forward goes back a double jointed knee he does have an ankle hinge 
it's really frozen. There it is. And then he does have an ankle swivel as well. And two peg holes at the bottom of his feet so he can stand on his G.I. Joe stand. There we go. I think, look, I think it looks really good. Uh, I dig the accessories. I definitely dig this little computer right here. It's much needed. I kind of wish he would have came with his backpack, though. Um, he always had his communicator backpack, and that's pretty much what this this is. This is a communicator. Um, so I kind of wish that he would have came with that, uh, his backpack with his antennae, and this actually connected to it. I'm not really sure why. Am i I got to actually check the pack and see if I'm... Uh, missing it but when I uh, purchased this it did say it came complete so yeah I don't think it comes with a, a backpack of any sort but it looks like it has a, a connection at the bottom here right there to connect to like maybe like a some sort of hose or cable uh, that would attach to the backpack that's supposed to be on his back but it's not there. Uh, it, it came with this instead, and it, this can't attach to his back. You can kind of hold it like a suitcase. Let's see if I can get him to hold it. Like so. He doesn't really want to hold it in those two hands, so you kind of have to switch it up here and put the communicator in this hand. Hold on a second. So you kind of have to have him like so, and then... Uh, he doesn't really want to hold it in that hand, so I mean you're kind of stuck here. If you want to have him holding this, he can't really. I don't know how well he holds the gun either. I guess he. Uh, no, see, it's a tight. It's a real tight fit with these two fingers. But there you go. I mean, I guess you could have him hold the gun, and I guess with a little finagling, you probably can get him to hold that too. But uh, I really dig these floppy disks. I don't know why. It's just. <laughs> Bringing back memories of sixth grade. <laughs> oh boy. Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Good lord. Oh, now I'm showing my age. Anyway, uh, <laughs> with that being said, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for, for data frame, aka uh, mainframe here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.